Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is William Fallow, and uh, on July 30th through August 3rd, I was a part of a missions trip to Mexico with a wonderful team, and uh, I would like to share with you days 1 through 2 in my journal. I go to bed at 11 o'clock and get up at 2.30. I could not sleep. I was excited to go. We got, a, we got to the airport real early in the morning. We got through five hours of flight, and we were there in Mexico. As I, as I, as, as I arrive, I'm exhausted. I have a headache before we go to the homeless ministry. But before we go, we have a praise and worship time. The exhaustion, the headache, fades away. God gave me what I needed to keep on and get ready for the homeless ministry. We get to the homeless ministry. We got there at 3 o'clock and men were lined up. I got to shake their hand and introduce myself to them. I got to talk with them and got to bond with them. The homeless ministry was an awesome experience. We, got, we took part in their worship service and helped prepare their meal. The homeless ministry is a ministry that goes on each day. They get a place to sleep wash their clothes and a shower and they get that chance for a dollar a day. That dollar a day it encourages them to go out build a work ethic and earn that one dollar. At the end of the night we got we got to take part in the uh, a service back at the uh, at YWAM Mission Base, and um, at the end of the night we got a message that's about it was a message that sin can make us broken, and if we can realize that and trust God, God can help us overcome that sin in our lives. Day two. Today, we went to the prison. There was five girls that we got to minister to. We did a couple of icebreakers to get to know them a little bit, and that was awesome. Then, we got into the meat of the message that we had for them. They do not have to live their lives with regret and past decisions. It does not define them. My part was I got to share a few verses with them. I got to share Joshua 1.9 Jeremiah 2911 and John 1633 those verses meant a lot to me we do not have to be afraid in this world God commands us to be strong and courageous we do not need to be terrified or discouraged because God has plans to prosper us and not to harm us, plans to give us a hope and a future. Jesus was a real life example. Jesus was afraid about dying on the cross. The soldiers could not keep him down. 
be of good cheer. Jesus defeated death. He overcame. Jesus is the example of defeating fear. God had the plan to prosper him. If Jesus over can overcome his fear, we can too. And hopefully the five girls, those five young ladies who were in that prison that day got that message of hope that these verses bring to us. The next thing we did was go to the orphanage. The, or the orphanage has 28 kids, ages 2 through 14. We got to sing songs with them. We got to play games with them. We got to interact with them. One little fella I got to blow bubbles for. And also help and I also helped lift him up to blow those bubbles. So he could pop them. We were like peas in a pod. Before I knew it, our time was over with them. I was glad to help bring joy in their lives. To close out the night, we had an amazing service. It was a message about mercy. We deserve what we get from our sins, but Jesus went to the cross and died for our sins. We do not need to sin no more. It is finished. One of the things they did in this service, they had us write some of the things that get to us, things that get to us, some sins that really, that really, that really get to us, things that really bother us in our lives. And we got to crumble it up, and we got to put it in a sin bag. We were praying at the end of the service, and then suddenly, there were people dressed like Roman soldiers, and a gentleman dressed up like Jesus. And they acted out the, cru the crucifixion. I mean, they kicked him and whipped him. The guy who played Jesus put the sin bag on. They took us up a hill and put, on, and put, and put him up on a cross and took him down. The speaker went to the cross, took the sin bag down, and threw it in the fire, and he said, Our sin, it is finished. I kid you not, they acted it out. But they did not really put nails in his hands. That was an amazing day too. Our sins, it is finished. Thank you.